New at 10, we're taking a look at the booming revenue short-term rentals are generating in Montana. Here are the latest numbers from a website that tracks Airbnb and Verbo statistics. The median monthly revenue generated in Butte rings in at just over $1,600 and over $2,500 in Missoula, $3,600 in Kalispell, and in Bozeman, more than $4,200. But there's another side to the short-term rental story in Montana. Some say it's cutting into much needed housing supply and leaving residents nowhere to go. NBC Montana's Jonathan May takes a closer look at calls for a ban in Bozeman. Renters in Bozeman want solutions about the housing crunch before it's too late. I rent with five other roommates and in May we're going to find out if our landlord is going to renew our lease or if we're going to be pushed out like so many people because our landlord knows it's more profitable to make our home a short-term rental. The Bozeman Tenants United, a group fighting for affordable housing, are in favor of a ban of short-term rentals in some form, including popular services like Airbnb and VRBO. They specifically want to target rentals where the property owner doesn't live on site. No, we're actually going for people who own more than one home because they're using homes as an investment to make a ton of money while the people who live and work here are getting pushed out and displaced. The city understands that short-term rentals cut into housing supply taking away options for people looking to call Bozeman home for the long term. The numbers say Bozeman is home to 760 registered short-term rentals, but that number only accounts for 3% of total households in the city. As a percentage of our overall housing stock is relatively small, we are seeing more new developments uh, having buildings, sometimes entire you know, multi-story buildings being dedicated to short-term rentals. So we're seeing uh, it, it pose a potential problem in the long run. Deputy Mayor Cunningham tells me the commission hasn't discussed a ban, but they are debating ways to better regulate short-term rentals in the city. Ideas include setting up specific areas where short-term rentals are allowed and placing a cap on the number of short-term rentals based on the available housing supply. There's a whole range of things that we could do as a commission, and a ban is one of those things that we could do, but the commission has not reached any conclusions at this point. Right now, there seems to be no easy fix to solve the problem, and the city says it will continue to weigh its options. Obviously, Airbnbs and VRBOs are, you know, part of the economy. We recognize uh, that... Uh, that is something that is out there and is a, an industry that we will have to uh, deal with. Uh, but we want to make sure that there is a housing stock for our workforce, for our families, for our seniors, uh, and that is not being taken away by short-term rental. For more information on the debate around short-term rentals, head to our website, NBC Montana. Reporting in Bozeman, Jonathan May, NBC Montana.